Hello, and welcome to Chapter 11, Regular Expressions. The fun thing about this chapter is, unlike all the rest of the chapters, you sort of had to really understand every single thing in chapters 1 through 11 built on one another, or 1 through 10 built on one another, but, but you can really get along without using Chapter 11. It's not a really required uh, topic, but it's a fun topic and an interesting topic, so, uh, so, so you can relax a little bit and uh, realize that you may or may not like regular expressions, and if you don't like them, that's okay. You don't have to use them. You can go for your, your whole life without using regular expressions. The idea of a regular expression is that you, you come up with a uh, language. It's a little a character-based programming language where you can uh, you know, do smart searching, basically. Smart searching, in the, as you'll see in a bit, with smart, smart, uh, smart extraction. And it's, uh, it's really almost programmable wildcard expressions. There's no looping, but there is looping. And there's all this implicit thing. You say, look for patterns that look like this, and then you get back things that match those patterns. You know, we, we do searching for everything. We're looking through large blocks of text. Say, go find me everything that has the word Python in it or something like that. So that's just such a common thing to do. And regular expressions are a very structured way to go about searching for information. They're very powerful, but they're also very cryptic, and you may not like them. But they're a lot of fun, actually, once you understand them. It, learning how to program them takes a while. <clears throat> Writing good regular expression programs requires some... Try it, play with it, check it, try it, check it, try it, check it. But once you get them, they're, they're really uh, quite cool. It's a very old programming language. Um, you know, it, it comes almost from the 1960s. Uh, the concept of, it's a theory of computing where they were trying to come up with theory of languages and regular expressions was one form of languages that computers could understand. And so it has some fun old words. And um, one of the advantages of knowing regular expressions is that you're kind of a cool person. You can take a quick look at this uh, XKCD that sort of captures the, uh, the devil may care awesome power that regular expressions uh, do. And, uh, and while we're at it, um, you know, uh, while we're talking about awesome, I do want to take this moment and show you my awesome tattoos. And so um, you may not know this, but I got a couple tattoos here. Here's the first tattoo. This is where I went to, got my PhD, and this is uh, my University of Michigan faculty member position. I got a PhD in engineering, and I teach in a school of information in library science. And then I have this other tattoo, and this tattoo is what I call the ring of compliance. Uh, I work on learning management systems and educational technology and standards, and there's this standard called learning tools interoperability, which if you're using this course and doing the auto grader, it uses learning tools interoperability to integrate into whatever learning management system you happen to be using. And one of those learning management systems is the open source learning management system that I helped write called Sakai. And these are the rest of the major vendors. And the idea of that tattoo was that I would put the tattoo of every vendor that would comply with learning tools interoperability. And so you'll notice Coursera. I helped Coursera put learning tools interoperability in. And so the autograders integrate into Coursera or Blackboard or Canvas or Sakai or Moodle or half a dozen other things. So it's just like a cool techno thing just like regular expressions. So I've got a URL here for regular expression quick guide. You might want to print this out so that you can uh, look at it even while you're watching this lecture um, because it's a little programming language except that it's character based, not line based and not keyword based. It has certain active characters that, that the character means something versus the character represents the character itself. And so the regular expressions is not part of the base Python, but it's distributed with Python. So you have to put an import RE to, at the top to say that's really saying pull in the regular expression library. And there is a couple of uh, functions inside that, re.search, which is kind of like a really smart version of the find method inside of strings, and re.findall, which is kind of like, like taking and stamping your way through a loop, uh, through a, a string, and finding all of the things that match a particular um, a particular pattern and then extracting those. And we'll talk about both of these um, in this lecture. So here's a really simple piece of code um, where I'm just going to sort of show you sort of before and after. So here's a, a thing where we're looking for lines that begin with from colon. And so we open a file, we loop through the whole file, we strip off the lines uh, text, and then we say if line.find from is greater than or equal to zero, then we print it. It gives you negative one if it's not found. And so reads all the lines, and once in a while it'll print it out, reads all the lines, once in a while print it out. So that's kind of like a needle in a haystack. <clears throat> to use regular expressions to do that, we have to import the regular expression library. These lines are the same. We're going to loop through. We're going to strip. 
And how we now we're going to say if re dot search. The, the way to say this is within the library regular expressions, go find the search function and search for the string from in the string line. Okay, so this is the line to search. Whereas here it was more object oriented, where we say line dot find. Here we say re dot search, and we pass in line as parameter. These two things are equivalent, which means most of the time it's going to run, and once in a while it'll hit a line, and it'll print that out, and then it'll it finish the whole thing. So that is taking and imp doing what we would do with the find operation with regular expressions. Now, searching with regular expressions has these special characters. And so here we have the same basic code, except now we're saying if line starts with from. So we're not using find anymore. And um, that way we're only going to get that thing in the first position, not like blah, 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 from, colon. We don't want that to match. We only want it to match here at the beginning of the line. And so that's what we use line starts with. So it's going to do the same thing and find lines that have the prefix and print those out and then be done. Now in regular expression search, we don't, in a sense, change the method. We, we have a certain number of things we can do with strings based on what they've built in. But in regular expression, we actually can turn this first parameter into code. And so what's happening here is the caret, if you go back to the little cheat sheet, caret means this is the beginning of line. It's a virtual character that matches the beginning line. It's like from that starts at the beginning. So from at the beginning does match and from in the middle does not match by putting that little caret there. Same thing, line is what we're searching and then from is what we're, ca caret from, line at the, uh, from at the beginning is what we're looking for. And so again, it does the exact same thing. It only prints lines that have from colon as the first character in the line. So the difference is, is we look for a method and the other one is we program the regular expression. So we're going to run out of methods in the string class long before we run out of things that we can do with regular expressions. And so a couple other special characters that caret matches the beginning of the line. So caret matches the beginning of the line. Uh, this capital X matches itself. Dot is a wild card that matches any character. And then some of the characters in regular expressions modify the immediately preceding character. And so that says, look for some, a line that starts with X and then has many characters, that's with these two things, zero or more characters followed by a colon. And so you can see that it's sort of, it's this sort of like expanding stamp. It's like, oh, there's an X at the beginning of the line, that line, it looks good. I got some characters here and then I got a colon, that's good. So this is an X, some characters, and a colon check x some characters and a colon check x and these things you know away we go and so you can that's what's going to match and so you can see how some of these characters are special again go back to your cheat sheet some of them are special and some of them are actual characters and this colon and x are just they're they're not special they're just the characters okay now sometimes you want to be a little more clear on your match so let's take a look at these lines that that match that particular thing that we just did so we have these two, x dash civ colon, x dash d stand dash result, like these are from mail messages. And then one of the mail messages has a line in it that says x dash plane is behind schedule. And this matches. Is that what you really wanted? And so what we can basically say is because this is an x, this is some number of characters, and that's a colon, it matches. It has to match. That, that's this rule applied to this line results in a yes. It does. And so how can you be a little more clear as to what you want to match and what you don't want to match? So we can write code. So now what we're going to say is we want to match the beginning of the line and we want to care capital X and we want a dash. So now we're going to match those first two characters, X dash, at the beginning of the line. Carrot X dash says first two characters of the line must be X dash. Now we have another special character. Again, refer to your cheat sheet. Backslash capital S means a non-white space character, right? Any character other than white space. And then plus means one or more times, one or more non-white space characters. That's what this whole thing says. One or more non-white space characters and followed by a colon, which is just a character. So now we have X dash followed by one or more non-white space characters followed by a colon. X dash followed by one or more non-white space characters followed by a colon. Here we have X dash followed by one or more, whoops, there's a space there. And so this doesn't match. Even though there's a colon there, it means that between the dash and the colon, you can only have non, some number of non-white space characters. So this is a no, it does not match. And so you just can, if, th if you didn't want to match this, you then sort of create a more precise, 
You know, we could even have a thing that said, I want X dash with an uppercase character, uppercase letter, if you wanted to. And so there's all kind of fine tuning if you sort of learn the structure that you've got to do. And so that's kind of the matching where you're taking a whole line and taking this template and deciding if the template anywhere in that line matches. Um, and now what we're going to do is use this to actually pull data out of strings uh, using the regular expression library.